Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's have uh, this problem. Let's practice calculating fixed end moments in preparation to problems on computing fixed end moments by applying slope deflection equations or if you apply uh, moment distribution method. So this is important. So there are two ways of solving the problem, computing the fixed end moments. So for the beam loaded as shown, compute the fixed end moments at A and B. Solve in two ways. So here is the given beam. So first method, I'm going to draw the moment diagram by parts. I select B as the moment center. So due to the reaction at A and moment at A, I'll assume moment at A to be positive, although fixed end moments are expected negative. So we have a rectangular diagram. And the fixed end moment MA is denoted MA. Then due to RA, RA times 11, the span is 11. So triangular, then we have 11 RA on the right side. Due to this uniform load up to this end here, 30 times 6 times 3. So that would be 540. And this is a second degree curve because this is 0 degree. And the value is 540. Then moment about B is 30 times 6. And the moment arm is 3 plus 2. So 30 times 6 times 5. So it, it extends. And this is 900. Another way to draw this figure is we replace the 30 kN load by an imaginary 180 concentrated load here. And the moment is uh, 180 times 3, that's why you have 540. Then we have moment of the 180 kN load times 2, which is 360, so 360 plus 540, that makes it 900. So that's the reason why we have 900 here. And due to the 40 kilonewton loads, 40 times 8, we have triangular diagram here, which is 320 as shown. And let's divide this trapezoidal part into two triangles that way. So since the ends are fixed, or assumed to be fixed, perfectly restrained. The tangents at A and B will be horizontal, therefore EI theta AB is zero. And from area moment theorems, this is just positive area equals negative area. So for the positive area, we have uh, one half of 11 times 11 RA, then plus 11 times MA, then equals, let's begin with this second degree spandrel, which is one third six times 540. Then for this triangle here, one half of two times 540. Then for this another triangle, one half of two times 900. Then plus this triangle, one half of eight meters by 320. Simplifying, setting up the first equation, we have 60.5 RA plus 11 MA equals 3800. Call that equation 1. For the second part, let's apply EI division of B relative to the tangent at A equals 0. And it is also true for EI division of A relative to the tangent at B equals 0. So since we select moment center at B, then EI division of B relative to the tangent at A equals 0. So it is just area. Then we 
couple the area with moment arms. So, 1 half 11, 11 RA, the moment arm, distance of centroid of this area from B is 1 third of 11 or 11 over 3. So, 1 half 11, 11 RA times 11 over 3 plus 11 MA times 5.5, .5, half of 11 is 5.5, .5, equals 1 half of 6 times 540. This is 6 over 4, then plus 2. Remember, the distance of the centroid of this second degree curve from here is base or length over n plus 2, where n is 2, second degree, plus 2, so 6 over 4, then plus 2 meters. Plus this area, 1 half of 2 times 540, the distance is 2 thirds of 2 or 4 thirds. Then plus this area and moment arm. So moment arm is one third of two. One half of two times 900 times two thirds. Then for this triangle, one half of eight times 320. Moment arm is eight thirds. So simplifying the second equation, we have 1331 over 6 RA plus. 60.5 MA equals 25540 over 3. Call that equation 2. Solving these two equations simultaneously, then we get RA 111.6754. And what is important is MA, which is the fixed end moment at A. And it is equal to negative 268.760 kilonewton meter. Then for the direct way, uh, fixed end moment at A is, the formula is negative B, which is negative 40, A, 3, B square, 8 square all over L square over 11 square. And for this triangle, rectangular loading here, we apply integration. Let's consider that strip. This is differential P, which is 30 dx, if that is dx, differential area. 30 dx and let's call this distance x. So the distance of this differential force from A, which is our A, is 3 plus x. And its distance from B, which is small b, is 8 meters minus x. So fixed moment at A, another way is negative 40. A is 3, b is 8, 8 square over L square, 11 square. Then minus integral of differential P, 30 dx, A is 3 plus x, B is 8 minus x, quantity square all over L square, 11 square, from 0 to 6. The variation of x is from 0 to 6 meters, which is that 6 meters. The value of the integral using our calculator is negative 24,840 over 121. Then plus this negative value will give us the same result of negative 268.760 kilonewton meter. Then, from there, because of this moment diagram, and we had our A here, the moment at B, which is fixed and moment at B, is simply 11 RA plus MA plus negative 900 plus negative 320, because these are negatives. So, fixed and moment B, or moment at B, is 11 times RA, plus MA, which is negative 268.76, minus 900, and minus 320, or plus negative 900, plus negative 320. So MB equals fixed and moment at B, equals negative 260.331 kilonewton meter. Then for fixed and moment at A, using the first solution, so the first equation is the same and the second equation would differ a little uh, the moment arm would be different so for fix and moment b let's use the formula this time uh, so moment B equals negative 40, 3 square, 8 over 11 square. We just interchange the quantity here that is squared. Same is true with the integral. 
we make this squared and this one 8 minus x only to the 1 over 11 square integral from 0 to 6. So the value of the integral is equal to negative 2, 6, 20 over 1, 2, 1. So mb by another method is equal to negative 260.331, of course. So in each part, I presented two solutions. One is by using the moment diagram by parts and the second one by direct formula. But uh, for the loading, I applied the integral calculus. But the sense is the same. So that's it for this video. I hope that you will gain confidence in computing fixed and moments which are important in applying slope deflection equations or when you analyze a beam or frame with the loadings and you compute for fixed end moments.